Okay, first one is from at Greggles8. What is the biggest prank you have fallen for or been on the end of? Biggest prank? I think it was uh, in a hotel, funny enough, with uh, A.D. Pennock. He, uh, he, he had this laughing, joking voice at the end of the phone and, and he kept giggling and um, I think everybody fell for it at the time. It was like a haunted voice um, and we all fell for it. And nobody knew it was and um, we, we pressed the lift and in the lift was uh, a fella dressed up as a ghost with a mask on and he was absolutely frightened the living daylight out of us all. And, uh, Yes, well, Eddie Pennock is definitely up there with one of the jokers I've, uh, one of the biggest jokers I've ever seen at a football club. Cool. This one's from at Nick the Greek 81. What is it about the club that kept you coming back for more? Um, the fans, I think. I think I had a really good rapport with the fans. Um, they've always been close to, close to me and they've always treated me well on the pitch. Um, maybe because I, I put the performances in, you know, and... Um, and uh, they like the way I played, uh, like, like everything about what, what I produced, you know, and, um, and obviously it goes hand in hand, but I think the sport as well, they're one of the biggest driving forces. Um, and the weather down there from, from Middlesbrough is a bit different, I've got to say. Um, but I would say definitely the fans, and uh, I really appreciate what, everything they've done for me over, over the years. Um, at Kiefer Zoidi, do you get frustrated watching players who clearly don't practice very much? Snack a free kick into the wall or miles over the crossbar. Yeah, I do. Uh, there's, not, there's nothing more frustrating, uh, especially in a dead, dead ball situation. You've got to at least miss that first man or, or at least test the keeper. Um, yeah, it might be on target, but um, I think practice at the end of the day makes perfect, doesn't it? Um, it, it gives you a good um, technique if you just keep practicing the same routine, the same routine in terms of the way you approach the ball, the way you deliver, the way you strike the ball, uh, eventually it, it just comes like shell and peas and, uh, and you don't even have to think about it, you just step up and you, th you know where it's going to go. I think if you don't do it and you just think you're just going to turn up and put this ball on, on, on somebody's uh, on head, um, it just doesn't happen. You've got to really put the groundwork and the effort and the, and, and the training and, and the dedication, you know, you, you know what I mean? It's, People go, think, oh, yeah, it's easy just striking a ball in the box or whatever, but it ain't. Because yeah, there's a lot of pressure, you know, the focus is all of a sudden on the guy who's taking that uh, free kick or, or that corner. Uh, it might be the last minute, the last chance to put a, a real good quality ball in the box if there's a free kick or a corner, last minute in the, in the game, and you're chasing the game, or are you, try, are you trying to uh, uh, get promotion or whatever it is, you know what I mean? But I think if you, if you do that and you keep practicing, uh, Eventually, it just like I say, it just becomes a habit, and you know you just know where the ball's going to be, and you know the kind of delivery. Um, and obviously, working with players, I mean, I used to work with Bob Taylor and um, over the years, and Ify, you know, you tend to get a sixth sense of where they want the ball and the pace of the ball they want it in, and the kind of ball that goes in, and and, and that's how you work on a training ground together, and, and you get them kind of bonds and them um, the right kind of uh, chemistry, and you know, sixth sense what happens. Cool. This is from at Dickey eighteen seventy three. Mm. Who is the best captain you've ever played under? Um, played a f uh, with a few, you know. Um, Paul Smith was up there, you know. With Gillingham was, was a great guy. Obviously Andy um, Hesse, um, Ian Brecken when I was at uh, Nottingham Forest, he was a great guy. And uh, Goodney Bergson, you know, he's a uh, real old fashioned centre half. who was at Tottenham and. Uh, He's, he's a foreigner by, by trade, but you would never have thought it, you know, he was, he, he was English as we all are, you know, but he was he was a great guy and uh, he had some great uh, beliefs and a great, uh, uh, great round of dressing room and great for the young kids to look up to and aspire to, and that's what you need as a captain, as a leader, you know, and uh, I really, really did take on board uh, watching them kind of guys.